Good morning everybody, it is bright and early and I have always said that I'm never gonna do a day in the life type of video because they're always just glitz and glamour but my life isn't glitz and glamour so the good news is today is you're gonna get a real raw day in the life style of video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and let me know in the comment section what you think of this new style of content and uh, whether or not you like it. So I'm gonna get laced up and let's get started. So it's 5.30 a.m. and I wasn't always a morning workout person, but with like the clinic and my crazy work schedule and the kids, it literally is the only time both my wife and I have the workouts. It's not always easy, but you just get through it. And in today's workout, I'm gonna be doing uh, treadmill running. So I'm gonna be doing cardio and core. The cardio aspect will be treadmill running and I'm gonna do some boxing. And then I'm also, um, of course, gonna just throw in all kinds of random core. So I got like a strict hour to do this with it. So I better get started. So a lot of people think that getting up in the morning for me is like easy and exercising because you know I'm a health guy and you know the fact is is you know I get up in the morning and I go to work just like you do I'm not like a fitness guru who has all day to obsess about my workouts or obsess about my macros it's literally just you know on the go all the time and even getting up first thing in the morning it's still wildly uncomfortable for me you know my pillow's comfortable my bed's comfortable it's nice and warm <laughs> it's cold here in michigan and so all those same things that go through your head are the same thing that goes through my head but i'd say one of the big things for me is that working out is totally non-negotiable you know when you get up in the morning to go to work like to hold down your job like it's non-negotiable like you have to do it exercise for me in the morning is that same way and i just try to like get up and, and go straight to work like when i hear my alarm clock go off it's not like if i start thinking about how warm my bed is and like getting in my head letting all those thoughts creep in like literally i will find myself not being able to get out of bed i hear the alarm start beating on my head and i just jump up grab a pre-workout get right to work because if i don't do that and i sit back and, and think about it i just won't it's uncomfortable it's uncomfortable to wake up that early and get this in but it feels so good after i started working out first thing in the morning when i don't do it my days just aren't the same and so as I mentioned before, I gotta stay on a tight schedule, so no more chatter. I gotta get ready. Let's do this. Adios, guys. See you later. See you tonight. Bye. Bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. Bye. Can't forget my shoes. Another beautiful day in Michigan. Like, honestly, it's one of the things that's the biggest bummer about living in Michigan is you have this, like, all the time. This time of year, it's just almost non-stop. first thing I typically look at is how many patients I'm gonna have throughout the day so I just have an idea of what's gonna happen because I know if the number's high I'm literally just like grinding all day basically and today I have 41 on the books so I know that today's gonna to be a very busy day room to room just working with people in different situations when I look at 
just in general what's coming in today uh, this morning we're gonna have people who have thyroid issue um, someone who has hormone issues uh, we have somebody who is dealing with disc degeneration in their low back somebody who has chronic migraines uh, another person who has type 2 diabetes that we're working with and then also a new patient it gives me an idea of what to expect and what's going to happen so I can just kind of mentally prepare for that I'm gonna be back to back all day I'm able to see exactly who's coming in but I do expect it to fluctuate when just working with the general public is something that happens. I might have five to ten people added to this. I may have five to ten people drop off. From what I see in the morning when I first look at this and what happens at the end of the day can be very different. It's always a little bit of a surprise too. We just had a person call and ask if I can help them with some of the pain that they're having with rheumatoid arthritis. And the answer to that is yes. And the reason I can help them and see such good results with it is because with rheumatoid arthritis, when you shut down that inflammatory cycle, all the sudden you start to reverse the problem. So a lot of people who have rheumatoid, they have just chronic joint pain and they ache so bad. I had a patient one time, he was 30 years old and he had chronic rheumatoid arthritis. He was getting two shots of Humira a month. Each shot cost $5,000 a piece. So it was incredibly expensive. Luckily he had good insurance. With the medication, he was just getting minor relief and it was just managing the problem. It wasn't actually fixing it. So what we did is we really focused on shutting down that inflammatory cycle in the body and we completely reversed it altogether, which was incredible because he was only 30 years old. His doctors told him that he would likely not live past 40. And one of the things that was really interesting about this is because he had been on these really heavy prescriptions for so long, his nutrient stores in his body were completely depleted. Like he had so many different nutrients. I remember glutathione, which is the master antioxidant in the body, was like depleted down to nothing. But that's what happens when you're on a lot of these different prescriptions. They deplete you of your natural nutrients. So we got them fixed up. We're able to completely reverse it. So the answer is yes, we can really help with rheumatoid arthritis and really get great results. And let me tell you, it gives people such a quality of life because managing rheumatoid arthritis is never a good thing to do. You want to get to the root of it. So as expected, it was a busy morning and now it's lunchtime. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, well, I go out and get some big fancy lunch. Fact is, I don't have time to do lunch. This is it right here, lean meal with uh, celerity. It's 150 calories and it also has like, you know, a ton of nutrients in it. It's got protein in it. It's gonna hold me over. And this is typically what I do because I don't have time to go get lunch. It's fast, it's easy. Perfect, let's go. One of the things that a lot of people don't realize just about patient care in general is that there's a lot of paperwork involved and there's a lot of reasons for it. One reason is because if you're working with insurance, you have to document everything you're doing. Another reason is that you want to document what you're doing with the patient so that you're able to follow the case very well. So for instance, I had said, you know, this afternoon I'm seeing a whole bunch of patients and I need to be able to look at their notes and know exactly what happened the last many times I had visits with them. Paperwork serves for many purposes, but it also is a pain in the butt too, because for about every patient you see, you might spend five to 10 minutes doing paperwork, which is a lot. So at the end of the day, if you saw 30, 40 patients, you could imagine how much paperwork you have to do. So what I try to do is always keep up with it throughout the day and even take a break in the afternoon and do paperwork and not let it all get to the like late evening when I'm wrapping up because then it just is like torture because I wanna go home and see my family, but yet I have like an hour of notes to do. It's one of those things where it's a necessary pain in the butt and it's kind of the bane of every doctor's existence. However, it needs to be done. So it's the end of the day and I'm honestly 100% exhausted. When you do patient care, there's lots of highs and lows, huge wins and then you have struggles. It's just the way it is. I mean, especially when you're dealing with natural health, you're waiting for the body's natural ability to you know, take charge and, and start the healing process. I mean, there's a lot that we put into the body in order to help with the process, in order to facilitate natural healing. But in the same hand, it also sometimes is frustrating because you, know, you just can't get results real quick. But this is the way it goes when you're actually looking to the, get to the root cause of the problem. 
as like a holistic doctor, that's what I always try to do is get to the root cause of the problem. And you're probably thinking, well, doesn't every doctor actually try to get to the root cause? And the answer is no. I mean, if somebody comes in and they have like a lot of pain issues, a lot of doctors put them on painkillers. That's not getting to the root cause. That's artificially covering it up. If you have somebody who has type two diabetes and they are struggling to keep their blood sugar down, most doctors aren't telling them how to eat appropriately and exercise and change their lifestyle. They're literally artificially giving them something to manage the problem. We try to reverse and fix all these issues and get to the root cause of it. The frustrating part that can come into play is like time is there. We have to you know, facilitate time with this whole process, but we also have to consider the body's natural ability, which is a little bit different for everybody. But overall, you know, just massive transformations every single day. And it's really exciting to see people take control of their health. It takes hard work. Yes, I, I work extremely hard in order to get people there, but it takes a lot of effort on your part too. I can't do it alone. I can't, you know, watch what you're eating every minute. I can't make you go to the gym. So when people are taking action, they're taking control of their health in that way and showing up here to have me help them and getting on the conference call when I'm working with people, you know, all over the world. I mean, they're putting that effort in and even financially putting that effort in too. That's a big deal. I, I know that a lot of people would rather spend money on cars and vacations and fun things, but you have to invest in you as an individual because you are your greatest asset. You have two ways to live. I always say it's not just about quantity of life, it's also about quality of life. You wanna age and you wanna age gracefully and you wanna prevent disease. For me, I work with a lot of people who are later in age and they do nothing but go from doctor's appointments and picking up prescriptions and there's no way to live. If we can take control of our health and do it naturally, it's so incredibly powerful. I wanna leave you with that and I'm gonna head out of here, get home, see how the family's doing, get some dinner because I am starving and I'm very tired and I'm probably rambling. So let's go ahead and head on home. Dinner was delicious, kids are in bed, and that's a wrap. Now it's time for me to go to bed because you know what the key is to waking up early and exercising and having a good productive day and feeling good and having good quality health is getting good quality sleep and having the discipline to go to bed on time and not stay up late watching TV or video games or whatever else people do. So we have to make sure we do that. Overall, today we had a great day. We transformed a lot of lives. We helped people find hope where they had no hope. We helped them find answers where they thought that there was none. So it's truly amazing and I'm very grateful to be able to help people like I do. And tomorrow I'm gonna to do the same thing all over again because that's what it's about. It's tiring, it's exhausting, but we're on a mission to transform a lot of lives and we're gonna to continue to do so. Let me know what you think of this style of video. If you had any questions about something you saw, let me know in the comment section. If you like this style, you want me to do more of them, just give me that feedback. That's what I need to know. Other than that, like I said, I gotta to get to bed. So that's a wrap and Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.